Hey everybody, Patrick Hostis here. Got some big news for you. North Korea has tested what they claim is a hydrogen bomb capable of fitting on top of a ICBM or a nuclear missile. It was the strongest North Korean nuclear test ever conducted, registering 6.3 on the Richter scale. The quake was felt in South Korea and China. The Japanese government is currently debating options for a first strike on North Korea. And this goes into a lot of issues that have to go with the end of the Second World War and the constitution that currently uh, governs the government of Japan has certain restraints put on it um, because of their history of militarism and during World War II. Um, they have constraints put on them of what they can have for self-defense purposes. And now a lot of uh, war hawks in the Japanese government are trying to get those rules changed so that uh, they can actually build an effective fighting force with cruise missiles and things like that that they could utilize for a first strike on Pyongyang. President Donald Trump has suggested the U.S. may stop trade with any, repeat, any country that does any business at all with Pyongyang. He also hinted at the fact that the U.S. may launch a preemptive first strike on North Korea. So, given with the, what has happened in the last 24 hours, where we have a massively strong nuclear weapon, basically everything North Korea has ever told us has come true. They said that they had weapons that could reach Guam, or missiles that could reach Guam, and this and that. Then they launch them to prove they actually have them. They've been saying for quite some time that they had a hydrogen bomb, that was going to be capable that was capable of being put on top of a missile now i think that we have to take them at their word that they do actually have it so the question is now what do we do now that we're in this situation it seems obvious that kim jong un has no interest in any kind of dialogue i think he wants to humiliate the united states to bump us out of asia and bump us out of that entire part of the world and out of their internal affairs forever um, that way they can push their own weird brand of hermit kingdom communism on their neighbors, uh, namely South Korea and Japan. And China can just look on and, and smile as the U.S. tucks its tail between its legs and runs back across the ocean. So I don't think China is innocent in this whole thing. I think they've been using, uh, I think they created a Frankenstein actually with North Korea. And now they, they're kind of trying to figure out what to do. Um... But given the circumstances and given how North Korea has reacted, I don't see any possibility of a peaceful solution. Um, and I actually think the longer we wait to strike, the worse it's going to be because the uh, North Korean regime is just building and preparing every day. Sanctions don't work. Sanctions haven't done anything. And it's hard to do anything like that when you have China supporting North Korea, and despite their lip service to us, they're still selling them oil. If they cut off our oil supplies, the entire regime, the war machine of North Korea, would be paralyzed within a matter of days. And uh, China refuses to do that. Therefore, obviously, they're uh, coordinating this with North Korea, is my opinion. So that only leaves the sword, really to try to deal with this situation. The world cannot have a crazy man like Kim Jong-un running around threatening to nuke anybody who displeases him. Um, history has proven what happens when you allow people to do things like that. Uh, Hitler comes to mind, a few others. You cannot allow uh, an aggressor to have that kind of license to do whatever they want. So, as much as I dislike war, and as much as I hate the suffering and the inevitable casualties that come with it, I think at this point, the greater evil would be waiting and uh, allowing them to build up even more of an arsenal that they can unleash and threaten and kill millions of more people. Probably within six months, their military capability will be even more dangerous. So my point is that every second we waste is a second they get stronger and this is a situation we just cannot allow to continue. But that's my opinion. Well, I'd like to know what yours is. Please let me know in the uh, comments below what you think about this situation. This has been Patrick Costas.